Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner in the first day of the January of New Year 2015. Happy New Year! Today I want to talk about the VLANs or virtual LANs, which is the layer 2 technology in the today network designs. By VLAN, we can define the logical separation in our network design and provide the segmentation and logical group for the machines and users. VLAN provides the scalability and quality of service, security and access control, as well as the network management for us. You should remember that each subnet is linked to the separate VLANs. In other words, VLAN is equal to the subnet in a network design. And VLANs have each VLANs have its own broadcast domain, which is bring the better quality and performance in our network designs. Okay. Here you can see this type of design. Let me show you the one picture before I go to the continue on the VLANs. Okay, this is the picture I want to talk about. As you can see, here we have a switches which is defined three different VLANs. VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 13. And we can assign the separate ports to the separate VLANs. For example, port number 1 to number 4 is assigned to the VLAN 10 and only can communicate to the ports which are belong to the VLAN 10 or similar VLAN. For example, VLAN 20 can communicate to the VLAN 20 ports only and vice versa, VLAN 13 to the VLAN 13 ports only. So, let's continue with this example. Here we've got two different departments. IT departments and the sales departments and one switches. So, let's connect the PCs to our switch and then define our VLANs. Okay, I go to the connections. Choose the straight through cables, connect to the PC, pass Ethernet. I want to assign the port number 10 to port number 15 to one VLAN and port number 16 to the port 20 to other VLANs. So I connect the first PC in IT department to the four port pass Ethernet 10 and connect the PC1 pass Ethernet to the port or interface 11 on our switches. Then I go to the sales department, connect my computer to the 16 separate VLAN and the PC3 to the port or interface on the switch pass Ethernet 17. Okay, waiting to our switch is uh, gathering the uh, table for the MAC addresses here or CAM table and okay so I'm going to define the VLAN. Before that uh, as I mentioned that each VLAN is equal to the separate subnet. I go to the switch go to the command line okay press enter go to the privilege mode and first command you should learn is show VLAN. Show VLAN commands show the default VLANs and the VLANs which are defined in a switch. As you can see the VLAN number 1 is default VLAN and the status is active and all ports uh, among the uh, port pass Ethernet 1 to the 24 and 2 gigabit Ethernet ports are belong to the VLAN 1. Beside that you can see other default VLANs within the switch like there's a FD default or the token ring VLANs but as you can see that these other VLANs are active but unsupported because that switch doesn't have the module for the those kind of uh, technology and here uh, we are going to define our separate VLANs. To do that go to the config mode, global config mode and the command is this VLAN then you can question mark and as you can see in this model of the switch you can define one to thousand five different VLANs in the switch. Okay, I define, for example, VLAN 10. Okay, now it's in a VLAN configuration mode. And you can name it, for example, name IT. I define the VLAN 10 to the IT. Okay, you can exit or 
at the same point, put the VLAN 20, another VLAN, and the name, for example, sales. Okay. So let's go back and control Z and I use the show VLAN again. And here you can see we create two other VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 for IT and sales. But still we don't have any ports signed to those VLANs. To do that, I go to the global config mode again. And here we use the range command, interface range. FA0 10 to 15. Okay. The first command is switch port mode access. We set that interface mode should be the access mode. And usually we connect the computer and end machines to the access port. Access ports are defined on the range of these fast Ethernet. And now we are uh, dictated to the port which are assigned to that VLAN. For example, here, switch port access and VLAN 10. We mentioned that this VLAN 10, these ports are belong to the VLAN 10. Okay, exit, and for the other ports, interface range, again, FA 0, 16 to 20. Again, switch port mode. Access. We define these ports as access ports and switch port access VLAN 20. So control Z, let's go back, show VLAN, and now you can see these ports are assigned to our VLANs 10 to 15 to the VLAN 10 and 16 to 20 to VLAN 20 or sales. Back to this. Okay. So we are waiting, so our links are coming up. I double check these ports FA16 and FA17. In Packet Tracer, if you over your mouse over the device, you can see the VLAN's ID and which ports are connected to that. So let's uh, define the IP address and see how our machines can communicate. Click on the PC1. Okay. Big 192.168.10.10. And subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 slash 24. And for the other machine, do the same thing. IP configuration. Okay, 192.168.10.11. And the subnet mask is default subnet mask for them. Go to the sales. Each VLAN is equal to the subnet and equal to the broadcast array. So for the sales department, which is belong to the separate VLANs, we should choose the separate subnet, which is 192.168.20.10 and the default class C subnet mask or 255.255.255.0 and the PC3, do the same config, go to the desktop tab, reconfiguration, 192.168.20.11 okay, let me double check, I don't make any mistake Take your mouse over the devices, yes, 20.10 and 20.11. So let's do the ping test. When I ping from this machine, the other machine, the broadcast is only goes through this VLAN 20. Not other ports are knows about that broadcast. Okay, ping 192.168, oops, ping 192.168.20.11, and we can see the replies are coming. You may ask that uh, this is because of the subnets are separate, actually, uh, these machines are cam cannot communicate to each other, yes, but let's say, for example, we connect at another machine like this laptop okay and put the same IP address in the same range of VLAN 20 192.168.20.15 for example and okay just press tab is automatically clean for you choose a proper cable straight through cable and connect this laptop to the port which is belong to the VLAN 10. So I review again. 
We connect this laptop to the port which is belo belong to the VLAN 10 or IT department, but the subnet is belong to the VLAN 20 and try to ping from the PC2 this machine in the same range. Okay, so waiting for this small amber circle became the green and then do the test pings for this machine. Okay, before that, let's me I mentioned that this is a VLAN 10 and this is a VLAN 20. Okay, now yeah, good. Good here. Okay, so it became green and now test. Okay, go to the same. Use a ping 192.168.20.15 and press enter. You can see this machine is unable to ping the another machine in the same range but in a different VLAN ports. So disconnect this machine from the improper port and connect it to the ports which are assigned to the VLAN 20 for example port 18 and now alright this machine is belong to the VLAN 20 waiting to that communication became green and do the same test again okay okay so command prompt upper arrow key and now enter waiting okay it takes sometimes a bit times because time out still and when it find the proper ports now you can see we've got the reply from that machine okay thank you for watching the VLAN in the next video we will discuss more about the VLANs and uh, how to provide the communication between the VLANs as well as the VTP technology which is the very useful in our VLAN designing thank you for watching please subscribe on our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page see you soon